Union Coach Jim Curtin. Jim will begin with the statement, and then we will open up the floor for questions. That being said, Jim, whenever you're ready. Yeah, overall, uh, you know, with the entire 90 minutes, uh, really proud of, of the team, uh, but, you know, obviously, you know, disappointed not to get all three points on a night where uh, we did create a ton of chances, uh, a lot of opportunities, a lot of hard work, uh, good performances. We asked uh, to play him behind on the ground early on. Uh, all the players executed their roles, did their jobs. Uh, and just a night where uh, it, it, the ball didn't seem like it was going to go in. Uh, credit to the guys. I thought the, the team goal that we scored was a, an excellent one. You know, it was one of those situations where you almost felt we needed just to even if it's an ugly goal off a restart or a deflection, uh, it would open up the floodgates. Uh, you know, I thought controlled the tempo of the game. Even in the first half, I was really, really happy with how aggressive we were, how much we passed the ball. Uh, I thought the performance, obviously, of Fafa Picot made a big difference. Uh, I thought he really uh, impacted the game in a major way. Uh, and the things that, that Austin Trustee is doing right now, I, I think, uh, you know, things go unnoticed sometimes when it's just a 1-1 you know, game, but uh, the situations he, he, he bails us out in, the, the duels that he wins, uh, the composure that he has, the, the being tuned in for 90 minutes, uh, it's, it's, it's fun to watch first and foremost, so I couldn't be uh, more proud of, of, of him. Uh, it's a young back line, but one that I thought did a very good job on the night. That's four really good attacking pieces that they have. Uh, I thought we neutralized them. Uh, just. I uh, feel kind of gutted for the guys just because they deserve three points. You know, uh, Harris, the performance he has, uh, control in the middle of the field. Uh, Ali puts a ton in after being sick all day uh, and, and empties his tank for us. So uh, happy in terms of, of the group, but obviously, again, disappointed that two points were dropped at home. So, John, the calm substitution. Yeah. Time. He was drifting in the middle a little bit. Was that a, uh, an attempt to shake things up a little bit? Was it at all? To send it in, yeah. yeah, I mean, they changed things tactically. They, you know, they, they kind of dropped into a, a back five. Um, David ha wasn't his sharpest night, uh, I don't think. Uh, so he, he, was, he was creating chances, but, uh, you know, maybe his touch was a little bit off in the final ball. Uh, you know, a decent performance, but just, you know, wanted to inject some life into the game. Uh, Il Signo came in, we switched Fafa to the left, uh, and it had an, an immediate impact because the guys executed and made a play uh but yeah overall david you know is is going to be just fine with us you know he's he's uh you know still getting used to his teammates all these little things uh, uh and again just you know we made the decision to make a change uh you know, get fresh legs on the field uh, in our attacking spot we demand a lot from our attacking players so uh, he was the odd man out this time we made the sub and, and uh yeah things worked out okay mike front row. Uh, Josh Cal seemed a little bit more involved yeah. today. How did you evaluate his performance? Yeah, I think we found him a lot in between the lines, and it's credit to him for making the, those movements, uh, coming off the back line and kind of uh, their center backs had a tough time dealing with him. Uh, he found a lot of space. You can see his quality on the ball. Uh, you know, he's, he's getting sharper and sharper every day. Uh, it's, it's never, we never knew, we knew it was never going to be instant, you know, but you start to see him. Uh, make a big mark on the game. Tarbo makes a heck of a save on the shot from distance. So uh, really happy. The ball he plays, the Fafa, that then sets up the goal is a, is the kind of pass that you know not a lot of people can see, and, and he has uh, the quality to see that. So really happy with him. He's gaining even more and more sharpness and fitness. Uh, you know, had a little bit of a cramp situation towards the end of the game, so he made a change. But overall, I thought that was his, his best performance so far, and he's done a, did a really good job, and he's working hard in, in training. And again, getting used to his teammates as well. Uh, you know, tonight is a night where uh, I don't even think it was a, a lack of chemistry from the front four. It was just a night where, you know, whether it was San Jose making a block, uh, us just not, you know, hitting the final ball. We created a heck of a lot of chances tonight. If we create chances like that uh, in our stadium, we're going to win a lot of games. So happy from that standpoint. Matt. Jim, if it's, if it's not a chemistry thing because there are those new pieces, what do, you, what do you think it is that there's only been three goals in four games? No, I, I'm saying, well, I'm saying, you know, tonight, you know, for a group, uh, the, the front four created a, a ton of opportunities tonight. So from the standpoint of that, I, I, I can't say that there's, there was a lack of chemistry or something wasn't there. They, they created a ton. Uh, you know, we had San Jose pretty much scrambling from uh, the opening whistle. Uh, really threatened their, their back line. Uh, and again, I think Fafa coming in for his first game played really well. Uh, CJ 
was okay uh, and, and had a night where you know he came to life a little bit later on as, as the game went on. Uh, Borak was, was very sharp and, and uh, again, a, a night that's going to be frustrating uh, to think about. We're going to lose some sleep just because uh, it, it should have been three points. Back to Mike. You mentioned Papa there the first game. Did you agree happy with his performance? Yeah, I mean, right off the bat, he gets in behind the defense in the first, you know, five minutes, I think twice. Uh, and that, those maybe were maybe two of the only tough decisions he made. Maybe could have passed earlier or maybe kept dribbling in one instance. So uh, didn't show a lot of rust for having missed uh, game minutes. Uh, happy with the, the effort that he put in. And, and uh, again, he changed, you know, uh, changed the team a bunch and, and gave us a real spark. Uh, on a different night, you know, we could have four or five goals. Correct, Spoke about the chemistry, and obviously, 22 shots is a lot of shots. But yeah. Is the, is the spacing what you want it to be yet between you guys? I still think there's another level that the group can go to, certainly in the attack. Uh, you know, part of that also is our outside backs joining in at the right moments. I thought Matthew Real had a, a couple good, good crosses, good early balls, and also missed it a couple. Uh, Keegan. Had a night where he was really sharp in the first half, second half, uh, lost a couple balls and maybe could have been uh, aggressive and, and had uh, gone a little bit higher, uh, even gotten around El Sino a couple times at the end of the second half. So uh, still work to improve on, but our attack uh, is is one that, you know, we want all 11 guys to be involved in the attack. We want all 11 guys to be involved in the de defense. It's demanding. Uh, but again, if we can perform like this uh, and, and, and really have control of, of the game uh, and create chances, they will uh, eventually go in. Matt, one or two. Thoughts on that, the post-game red card to Cummings? Is that something that you saw when it happened? Or? I didn't see. I saw Austin go down is what I saw, and then you kind of had in your mind that something dirty happened because whenever the goalkeeper has the ball in his hands and all of a sudden someone drops, Austin's not a faker, not a, a time waster, or a, and a guy who's going to embellish. So uh, he's, a, uh, for his age, a, a, a man. And, and when he went down like that, you knew someone probably took a shot at him. Uh, just because, again, there's no advantage for us to go down in that, in that moment because we're the ones pushing the game, trying to win the game and take all three points. So uh, you knew something serious happened. Uh, again, I, I could talk for about the three minutes of injury time, which is embarrassing, to be honest. Just six subs right off the bat is, is three minutes, 30 seconds per one. That's what they tell us by rule. And they put up three minutes, and there was there was five, at least five instances off the, off the top of my head I can think of injuries, or pseudo injuries that happened in the game uh, where, where time is wasted. So uh, missed that one. I guess they got the VAR right after the fact. Uh, maybe it would have been nice if they, even if they give the red card instantly there. It does probably give us at least another minute uh, or maybe in their calculations, 12 seconds or however they uh, come up with it. But yeah, it is disappointing. So uh, yeah, the red card that really doesn't help us because whoever plays them next gets the benefit of it. Anything else here on the floor for Jim? All right, thank you everybody. Thanks.